All right, so this is our horse feeding instruction video. Uh, first off, the horses are at 926 Edmonds and Pike. It looks like this. There's a white sign outside that says horse boarding. Um, the tricky thing is that <clears throat> 926 is actually this white house to the left, but where you're gonna wanna go is straight up the drive, all the way up the hill, don't turn left at the house. Uh, the house up here is just like an abandoned house of the mother of the guy that owns this place. Uh, so just go straight up the hill. The horses could be anywhere um, out there or down by the road. If you're coming out in the morning, usually they're up top and that saves a little bit of a hike to bring them up to feed. Um, so road gets a little bit rough you can go this way you can go this way if the Prius can make it I'm sure any car can make it through this uh, road there's a couple pigs um, and you can just pull all the way to up to like this post where the red shed is Jazz boy, no. He's done to eat. Um, so all of the food and everything is in this red shed. There's Sweetheart. So these are the two we're feeding. There's also a third horse, Duke. Um, he doesn't get grain or anything. Um, and he also doesn't bother these guys when they're eating. So... Uh, no big deal. You don't have to worry about him. All three of them are old and calm. He's a little less calm, but it's just because he wants his food. <clears throat> um, in the shed, these are the bags of food. Um, I'm going to leave a little sticky note. Hold on. So, Jazz Boy, the white horse, he gets two scoops. Uh, plus a pill and sweetheart black horse gets a third of a scoop plus a pill so jazz boy gets the big pan uh, there's a scoop in the bag uh, so he gets like two foolish uh, scoops like this uh, sweetheart gets like a third a chunky girl um over on this green bucket there's a bottle of equiox uh tablets so they can each get some of them are broken in half but they can each get one full uh tablet and i just drop it straight in the food one for her one for him uh, so this is, if there was anything tricky to this, it's the water part. So this orange bucket, I'm going to leave uh, full of water. And what we do is soak the food to make it a little more of like a soft crumble than a hard pellet. Um, so that their old teeth can get it down a little bit better. Um, for hers, just like, you just guesstimate like maybe that much. There's always a stick laying here <laughs> that I use to stir it. That would probably be a fun job for Lyric. And it just gets it kind of wet. And as it sits over a minute, it gets it gets soft. Jazz Boys takes... Oh, I don't know. Maybe like a quart or a half gallon of water, but... Enough to not make it a soup, but get all of the pellets soaking. And they're pretty good at cleaning up their food, so they almost always manage to eat their pill if it's just in their food. Um, okay, so if they're up top of the fence, this is probably tricky part number two. Pretty easy. If they're not up here and they are 
like way, come on zoom. They could be way out over that hill. They could be out past this pond where these pine trees are is surrounding the pond. Um, they might be over that hill. I will usually just walk out and call, come on, come on, really loud and clap three times until I get their attention. Once you get their attention, he knows it's time to eat. He's gonna come running. He's not gonna run you over. He'll stop or he'll run by you and come all the way up here. Um, but if you're out here in the morning, then they'll probably just be up here waiting to eat. So uh, once their food is just sat for like a minute or two, I will bring it out. Sweetheart eats near this main gate. So I usually just set her food first. He's going to go running into that other pen, which is where he eats. Um, if he doesn't automatically go there, get his big pan, I will just grab the pan and start walking over there. And then he will <laughs> go let himself into the other pen. Once he runs in there, I hurry up and slide hers under the fence. And then I rush. Oops. Okay. Over this way. He's gonna act like he's gonna tear down the fence. And I slide his pan under the fence too. Um, then the one thing is in this pen, that gate is open. He takes a lot longer to eat because he gets a lot more food. When she's done eating, she's going to come in and try to steal his food. So I go back around to the main gate. It's just like a little clip. Easy to get off. Go in and I'm gonna shut that gate and I just leave it shut until he's done eating. You'll know when he's done eating because not only will the food be gone but he will leave the food to go get a drink of water. Almost every time he's done he drinks. Um, so you can just come and just make sure there's water in the tank. I just filled it all the way up. I um, think that will last at least a week. It may last the whole time. If not, I'll show you where the hose is. Um, but anyway, I'll shut this gate. And put the chain like such. And Duke just patiently waits, so honestly, if Lyric or whomever wants to go in the shed and get him a treat, they can, because I feel bad that he gets left out. Okay. Back at the gate. In front of the red shed, this is the hose. Um, you'll just have to hook it up and wind it take it over to the horse tank if um, if it looks like it's going to be empty, but hopefully we are good to go on that. Uh, so Duke can have one of these treats or if Lyric wants to feed the horses, those are good, easy things to feed. Or he can have like a little handful of just not getting left out. And that's pretty much it. Um, as far as checking them over, you really just want to make sure nobody's hurt their eyes, nobody's bleeding or limping when they walk. Hopefully they don't do anything dumb. Um, but when they're done eating, we just pull their pans back in and we just leave them in the shed. Uh, next to the grain for the next time. And 
when jazz ball is done, um, you can just open that gate up so he can get out whenever he wants to. Um, and you can just pull his pan in and that's it. Here he comes for water. So that means he's done. And you can go open his gate and let him out. is just a matter of doing this and I always throw the chain over the fence so the gate doesn't actually shut and shut them out of the water. Um, okay, good ponies.